So I again would like to thank you for having us. Um, this has been a great debate. This is the first one I've attended where it's a free-for-all format, and it's been fun. Um, on June 12th, we have a critical decision to make. We have parties here that have very different platforms and very different ideas that will chart the course of Ontario in the next few years. I believe that with continued investment in our people and our communities, we can grow in a positive way. We can move forward in a positive way. We can re therefore reduce our deficit again in a positive way. Everybody, everybody benefits and nobody gets hurt. We've worked too hard to get to where we are now and it is not the time to be cutting and tearing things down. This has been tried in the past and it has failed. On June 12th, I'm asking for your confidence and your support. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, you've heard what the other parties have had to say today, but ask yourself, who has a plan to get Ontario working better? You and I know we need to eliminate our deficit so we can increase job creation and invest in more of the essential services like healthcare and education. Today's debate proved, once again, that the Ontario PC party is the only party that can fix our economy and get our province's fiscal house in order. It also showed me that I am the only candidate that will take a stand for all local trades people, both unionized and non-unionized. That's why if I'm re-elected, I will be introducing the Fair and Open Tendering Act as the first order of my of business. Again, it was a pleasure to serve on your behalf for the last two and a half years, and I would be honored to serve our community once again as your member of provincial parliament. So on June 12th, I respectfully ask for your vote. Together, I know we can make our province and our community even better. Thank you. In closing, I would like to thank my neighbors tonight for their interest and questions in this debate. On June 12th, you can vote for change. Your Ontario NDP is about creating good paying jobs by giving tax credits to industries when they hire new employees, offering tax credits when they spend money on growth in Ontario or upgrades to their existing plants, lowering taxes on small business by 1.5%. Your Ontario NDP is about protecting and creating jobs. Destroying the lives of 100,000 families by firing their income earners is not our plan. This in fact affects 400,000 people, taking into account each comes from a family of four. Your NDP wants to see people live a good life by making life more affordable, lowering hydro rates by merging four power generators, capping CEO pays, buying within Ontario to create jobs and build our own economy. We'll have a Minister of Accountability and Savings to find savings of a minimum half a percent every year to reduce Ontario's debt. On June 12th, you, the voters of kitchener conestoga have a choice. You can cast your ballot for a candidate that makes sense. So I ask your support on that day so I too can support you at Queen's Park. Again, I thank you and God bless. Thank you, James. And the final word is I think we really have a deficit of having honesty and integrity in Queen's Park. Not everybody can know everything about everything, and I certainly don't. And I don't think any one political party has all the answers. That's why I'm a strong proponent for proportional representation. People, you, the voters, you decide that 30% support one party, 20% another party. These people are then represented in government by political party based on the voter support for each party. We then, together, being reasonably smart individuals, we discuss information and we come up with good solutions that make the majority of the, uh, the Ontario people happy. And that's good policy. So this is something that I feel like is, is lacking, where we have people trying to say, I'm the only party, or we're the only party, we do this, and we do that. And I think we need to realize that we all want to represent you well, and we need to get our facts together, we need to decide what is true and what is valid, and make good, solid, good policy. We need to do it together as teamwork, rather than trying to be divisive and partisan. Really, what's the end result is, is good policy that we want, uh, not to see who can show each other up best and, and decker, the, decker the best. Thank you very much. Dave.